Howdy, the Fritz 423 here. This right here is the skeletonized remains of an MC-43 earthquake mini tiller. It's a real handy little thing. I recommend it. If you, if you garden and you haven't got yourself one of these, I'll tell you, it's, it's worth the investment. We have a big tiller, but this thing's great for garden boxes. My wife was using it and it just came to a dead stop. Boom. That's never a good sign. I went out and looked at it and the fuel in the fuel tank was amber. This is a two cycle engine. It's supposed to have oil mixed with the gas. Well, it turns out she asked me, where's the gas can for this, for this tiller? And I said, it's the little red one. Well, it turns out we got two little red gas tanks and one of them has oil mixed in it for chainsaws and whatnot. And the other one doesn't. Oops. My bad. So the engine overheated and froze up. The piston, the rings, all welded together with a cylinder head, and it catastrophically failed. But I started looking at this, and I was thinking, you know what, the, the piston rings are the only thing that touch the cylinder wall. Maybe I can just get new piston rings. I couldn't find piston rings for this particular model anywhere. The engine is sold as a unit. But I took a chance, got on Amazon, and straight from the People's Republic of China, I got a piston that had the same dimensions and looked exactly the same. $19.99. Made for a mini scooter, apparently. I ain't trying to save money. This is just a fun little project. And for 20 bucks, I get to play around and also, who knows, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll last for a while and I'll uh, uh, save the price of a new tiller, which is 100, 160 bucks. So, yeah, we'll find out. Simple enough. Good Lord. Oh, it's got a bearing sleeve in there. Let's take a look at it real quick. I don't know if you can see that. It's some aluminum deposition. So I'm going to do something crazy here. This shit is just a little bit scary to work with. You got to be careful. See, it's bubbling up. That means it's eating away at the aluminum. I know you're about to go down to that comment section, and I'm going to encourage you not to. It is in the rest of Yankee land, but right now in Texas it's hot. It's like Africa hot. So...
think those are the right ones there. I think I mentioned it in one of the other clips, but I thought this engine was completely dead, so I didn't bother uh, videotape taking it apart, which is something I always do, because if nothing else, even if I don't put it on YouTube, I can, you know, you go back and look and see how everything fits together. matter buddy <laughs> son of a bitch yeah that's gotta go on the outside doesn't it Alright, I don't want to tighten that all the way until I get this other one. I forgot to put this plate, this little shim that's supposed to go like this. Again. This has got to go on like this, and this, and like this. Boy, they don't give you a whole lot of spare hose, do they? Darn. Wily Chinese. These little rubber grommets came with the original gas tank. Oh my gosh, that was years ago. They go in between.